From casting two of the biggest film stars in Hollywood to performing in challenging conditions, here's all the 1923 behind-the-scenes drama you didn't know. We all knew the spin-off would be a major hit, given that Taylor Sheridan was behind it. Any Yellowstone enthusiast would agree the man is a brilliant writer, and the franchise's popularity proves it. But there's more to it than what meets the eye, and we're here to reveal everything that goes on once the cameras stop rolling. Wondering how Sheridan got Ford and Mirren? Well, don't worry, we've got you covered. Onboarding two of the biggest film stars in Hollywood isn't easy at all. But guess what? Sheridan was in luck because he didn't have to do much. Helen Mirren said as soon as she heard Harrison Ford was on board, she jumped at the opportunity without even reading the script. As for the Indiana Jones star, he revealed that he was over the moon as soon as he heard that he was to be cast opposite her. The two of them worked together 30 years ago on the movie The Mosquito Coast, and that experience was enough for both of them to say yes without thinking twice. Harrison also mentioned that he admired the work Sheridan had done with Yellowstone and its spin-off 1883, and that gave him the courage to dive into this neo-western world blindly. Once the actors read the scripts, they were impressed by the depth of their characters. Mirren said that Sheridan's attention to detail was what caught her eye. And although this sounds like rainbows and sunshines, the question on everyone's mind is, for how long? Sheridan's need to be the center of his shows. We all know that Sheridan is a man that wants to tell his stories his way and has become famous for suffering from a God complex. He even admitted so and said that he will never compromise when it comes to his shows. This attitude has already cost him Yellowstone because he couldn't take someone else's opinion over his own. The beef between him and the main lead, Kevin Costner, has made headline after headline in tabloids and magazines. And it's all anyone can talk about whenever Yellowstone is mentioned. What's crazy is that Taylor refused to defuse the situation, even though it was Yellowstone that paved the path to his stardom. Needless to say, fans have been extremely upset as a lot of expectations were tied to the show and all this negative publicity has made Sheridan public enemy number one. Sheridan got a lot of feedback. Some fans have even boycotted the spin-offs because of this reason. And it makes sense. Like all big stars, Helen and Harrison would eventually want to have a say in their characters' personalities or storylines. The Queen star has already mentioned that she's done with writing letters on the show and hopes she wouldn't have to do any more of it in season two. Other cast members have also voiced their opinions on what direction they think their characters should take. Brendan Sklenar, who plays the role of Spencer Dutton, said that he wants his character's journey to end so that he can have more opportunities to shoot scenes with Mirren and Ford. It's only reasonable that the cast would like their voices to be heard, but from the looks of it, Sheridan isn't a director who believes in creative collaboration, and if he doesn't change his ways soon, it might lead to a downfall. Here's to hoping that he fixes his ways soon because, let's be honest, working with someone like this can be a pain. For now, though, it seems that the cast is happy to go along with how the story is unfolding, some more so than others. Helen and Harrison's Romance on Set The season involved shooting intimate scenes, and Helen confessed that she was super excited to hop into bed with Harrison. Well, we can't blame her. Their two characters, Jacob Dutton and Kara Dutton, are married on the show, and that meant the two had to share intimate scenes. It led to them getting into bed together, and guess what? Helen confessed that she felt like a teenager and was freaking out the entire time because she had always been a Ford fan. The Oscar nominee has always been dazzled by her co-star and confessed that she had to pretend to be cool while filming the scenes. Helen just couldn't wrap her mind around the fact that she was in bed with THE Harrison Ford. She has voiced her admiration for the actor numerous times, calling him amazing and saying that she loves him. The Queen star said that it all boils down to his down-to-earth personality. Despite being a huge movie star, he's never acted spoiled or arrogant. She joked that if she wasn't married, she might have been tempted to date him. Well, all this praise isn't one-sided. Ford also sees her in the same light as he revealed that he still finds her sexy and remarkable. Their chemistry on the show has been off the charts, and fans have been rooting for the two to get together in real life. And while we can totally get behind that, the audience will have to make the most of it with their romance on screen since both of them are happily married. Speaking of chemistry, they're not the only cast members that get along, the rest of the crew is also in awe of each other, and it's all thanks to the Cowboy Camp. Cowboy Training Sheridan flew the cast to Montana where they had to undergo an extensive two-week training program to be able to fit into their roles as ranchers, and while that might sound fun, it really wasn't. 
and the cast quickly realized one thing, learning how to be a cowboy wasn't going to be as simple as it looked. They lived with real-life ranchers to perfectly imitate them while simultaneously learning how to ride horses using equipment from 1923, and if that isn't hard enough on its own, they had to learn how to shoot as well. Amina Neves, the actor who plays Teona Rainwater, said the two weeks were intense and left their butts black and blue. As for the water scenes, they also had to learn to hold their breath underwater while being cramped in a small space. And according to Sklenar, it was the hardest part because even though he stayed under for only a couple of minutes, it felt like ages. Not to forget, in the epic scene in which Elizabeth Strafford runs away in a buggy, Michelle Randolph, the actress that plays the character, revealed that she was terrified while training for the scene, as she thought the horses would run away with her. Horse Trouble A stunt double was steering the buggy from underneath the floorboards, and all she was supposed to do was pretend. But Michelle kept fearing that her stunt double was going to mess up, causing the horses to run away, and she'd end up losing all control. She said it was the most physically taxing scene she had to shoot in all of season one. Julia Schlepfer, aka Alexandra, also gave insight into how she felt and said that it was as if death was looming over her at all times, and she kept imagining herself dying at a very early age. To top it all off, Darren Mann, known as Jack Dutton, said that the weather really headed out for them and that taking riding lessons in minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit with 20 miles per hour wind speed really took a toll on him. The camp took them out in the wilderness and taught them how to survive. They had to work through lightning storms, rainfall, and light fires to keep themselves warm. And with all of this, they somehow managed. When shooting finally started, there were a lot of pauses due to COVID. The show saved the day. 1923 ended up being more expensive than they had predicted. But all in all, the team learned new things, and once all was said and done, they were very proud of themselves and everything they achieved. And they should be too, with the way the show has turned out. They've made all their money back, and it's truly been all worth it in the end. The release date for season two of the show is yet to be announced, and it's highly likely we won't see anything in 2023 because of the ongoing writer's strike. But one thing's for sure, whenever it premieres, it will be epic! That's all I've got for now on 1923 Behind the Scenes You Didn't Know. Hit the like and subscribe button, and stay tuned for more content. See you next time!